Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox 360 edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Today I am taking out the T110E3 which is the American Tier 10 tank destroyer. I am in a platoon with my brother Grey Ghost and his uh, 110E3, Kreger in his E3, and Shadow in his E4. The map is Live Oaks. It is an encounter battle, so we are going to head over to the town and take the flag. There is one artillery on each side, and they are both uh, M40, M43s. You really should always determine at the beginning of the game if there are any enemy artillery and uh, pretty much what class they are, what tier. More times than not, I'll be able to survive a shot from the uh, M4043 where the M5355 or the T92, these are obviously just the American line, um, would certainly be capable of one-shotting me. That's not going to happen all the time, but they do have potential to, to do that. So since this is an encounter battle, the flag is in the town, and they do have artillery, and which being in the town is going to make it that much more difficult for the artillery to hit me. It makes sense to go there. And we do have a small number of vehicles heading down the eastern uh, side of the map along the railroad track, so they should be able to keep the enemy from coming from that side and getting behind us. Yeah, I know, maybe sometimes I just think too much. However, it'd probably be a good idea if I saw that our eastern flank wasn't covered at all that I let my teammates know that and then uh, maybe we could set up a tank or two and just watch for the enemy to be coming up from the east. You know, at some point, at some place, you have to stop the enemy from getting behind you and shooting you in the rear. So it does look like a light tank may have bypassed our guys on the east. Um, my guess is he's either going to come and shoot them from the rear or he's going to go after our artillery. Actually, I just see the uh, AMX 1375 just took out our artillery, so that's what he was doing. So I didn't actually realize it during the game, but uh, yeah, we did not have um, artillery help at all. I do play a lot of artillery, and I tell you, that is so frustrating. When an enemy light tank just blows right by all your guys, gets back to where you are, and takes you out. Okay, so you can see my sixth sense has gone off. The guy back there was obviously tracking me, waiting me for to cross the uh, opening between the two buildings. He did take a shot, but uh, I got lucky and it did bounce. Looks like Kreger in his E3 just scored a kill for us. The action certainly does seem a bit intense up there. I'm going to sit back here and snipe as best I can. It looks like I should have a shot, but our M3 is blocking, so I'm going to reposition a little bit here. Okay, now we do have a shot on the uh, E4. We put one into his tracks. No damage other than track damage. And uh, it's like an object 268 just shows up in front of him there. The 268 backs up, re exposing the E4. I'm loaded, take the shot. We get a really good roll on that. 910 damage and we track him again. You can see that E4 currently has track damage and uh, ammo racked. So his reload is probably just doubled. Like he's still tracked, we're reloaded, we take a shot. I I saw the bounce, I don't know what I hit. Why I didn't kill him, I don't know. So now you see here, Grey Ghost has left our Xbox Live party. He is one of our platoon members. Uh, his Xbox froze up. So we are definitely a man down, an artillery down, and uh, even though Grey Ghost is going to restart and try and get back in, I see the E100 did finish him off. Alright, so the Artie's gone, Grey Ghost is locked up, he's gone. Not doing too bad, uh, everything's still even. And we do see the E100, uh, we, he did show us his lower plate and we put a shot into him. Really don't mind fighting against the E100s as long as I can see that lower plate. Other than that, it's rather frustrating. Alright, so we are detected, Six Sense has gone off. Um, we really do need to do something here so the artillery... Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to call it your own sixth sense, but you kind of get that feeling when you sat around too long, exposed, you know that artillery's probably looking at you. Alright, so we see Kreger just got another kill. 
see an IS-8 to our left. Uh, when we zoom in, uh, you know, when we first looked at him, it looked like we might have a shot at him, but when we zoom in, he's completely behind the building, so I'm not quite sure what we saw there. So Grey Ghost is frantically trying to get back into the game. I don't really have the heart to tell him that uh, he's already dead. In case you didn't know, if you lock up or lose your connection, you can come right back into the game as fast as you can, and you'll be put right back in the game where you left off. Okay, so here we have a waffle. We put some damage into him already. We are waiting for the reload. We're hoping, oh, please let him be reloading. He is an autoloader. He has six shells. Each one of those shells is capable of doing approximately 500 or so damage to you. So in about 12 seconds, he can do 3,000 damage. Talk about overpowered. But I guess to compensate, he has no armor in his turret. Okay, so we took a shot in the rear from the T-57 Heavy. You saw him disappear. Watch, my binoculars just came up. He's reappeared. So he's only 200 meters away, but I think he's behind the bushes. So you kind of get an idea how camouflage may or may not work. Without the binoculars, with him sitting behind those bushes 200 meters away, I would not have spotted him. As soon as those binoculars came up, I did detect him again. But now he has moved behind the building, so we're going to have to reposition if we want to get anything on him. Game is still going pretty good. We're up a tank. Okay, we were up a tank. Now it's even. So I want to try and engage the enemy, but I still want to try and stay in the circle if worse comes to worse, if you know what I mean. Alright, so I see somewhere in this we also lost Shadow. Alright, so the medium tank gets a shot on him. I get a shot on the T-57. We probably put a total of about a thousand damage on him. And that's one of the things that confused me. We saw he was just tracked, but he fixed his tracks right away. I had tracked him earlier, and he fixed his tracks right away. So I can only guess he's uh, equipping his tank with a small repair kit and a large repair kit. You know, that is one thing I've started trying to do. Track the enemy in a position where they're forced to use their repair kit. So later in the game, if they end up uh, getting an ammo rack or something, they can't repair it. Alright, so Kreger takes out the T-57 for his, I believe it's his third kill, but right after that the artillery does come in, hits him in the rear, and takes him out of the game. Okay, so now we have our friendly E-100 up against a, uh, looks like a pretty healthy E-4. I'm going to expose myself to that E4, so hopefully uh, he'll leave the E100, who is much lower health than I am. There's nothing I can really do about the artillery. Take a shot at the E4. I miss him. I guess it went over him. Feeling a little bit exposed, so I'm trying to back up here, get uh, some cover between me and the arty. Knowing that it's American artillery, it's going to be hard for him to hit me behind these buildings. And there comes the shell. Didn't hit me, did rock me a bit. And now while I'm watching the uh, replay here, I also noticed that my gun has been damaged. Don't know when that happened. Our E100 looks like he may have taken some additional damage since the last time we saw him. We push out a little bit between the buildings and our sixth sense goes off right away. So now not only do we have a uh, fairly healthy E4 over there, we just see a uh, almost full healthy 75. Our E100 is now gone, so that just leaves me. I need to get into some type of cover, try and direct the enemy at me instead of letting them just come wherever they want. And I notice the uh, tank destroyer coming at me from the right. It's my feeling at this point he is probably the closest to me. So we turn towards him, hoping we can deal with him before the guys on my left get here. We do hit him for about 840 damage, but the uh, guys from the left are here. Just took a nice shot in the rear, so I have to now leave the flag area to protect myself. We got 1290 hit points left. I should be able to take a hit. Um, looks like I just took two hits, one from the E4 and one from the Artie. And the E75 manages to come up behind me anyway and takes me out. Oh well, we definitely can't win them all, but we certainly put up a heck of a fight. Now we'll take a quick look at the post-game stats. We did just under 33,000 silver and just over 1,100 XP. We got one kill, seven damaging hits, five critical hits. 
So we added up and our platoon did right around 14,000 damage. We had five kills and we were also down a man. You know, you can always think about the what ifs. What if Grey Ghost Council hadn't frozen up? What if we didn't let that light tank get back to our artillery at the beginning of the game? The AMX 1375 getting to our artillery, that was just good gameplay on his part. Grey Ghost's Council locking up, that's uh, poor performance by, oh, I don't know, Microsoft Engineering or perhaps War Gaming's coding. Anyway, enough of that. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button below. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. You'll get notifications of when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.